Hi, my name is Ray and welcome to Quiz Class. I'll be your host for this quiz on the 1970s. Let's begin. Who was known as the Queen of Disco, Gloria Gaynor, Donna Summer, or Diana Ross? The correct answer is Donna Summer. What iconic band released their album Dark Side of the Moon in 1973? Was it Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, or Nirvana? It was Pink Floyd. Who was the lead singer of Led Zeppelin? Robert Plant, John Bonham, or John Paul Jones? It was Robert Plant. What genre of music became popular in the mid 70s known for its dance beats and high energy? Rock and roll, reggae, or disco? It's disco. What iconic film about a shark terrorizing a small town was released in 1975? Rocky, The Godfather, or Jaws? The correct answer is Jaws. What movie released in 1977 became a cultural phenomenon spawned a franchise that's still going strong today? Star Wars, The Exorcist, or Saturday Night Fever? The correct answer is Star Wars. What 1970 film starred George C. Scott as a general who refuses to fight in World War I? Network, The Last Picture Show, or Patton? It's Patton. What 76 film starred Sylvester Stallone as a boxer trying to make a comeback? Taxi Driver, Rocky, or The Godfather Part II? It was Rocky. What popular accessory of the 70s was often worn around the neck or wrist and featured various symbols and charms? Was it the choker, the mood ring, or friendship bracelets? It's chokers. What type of pants popularized in the 70s featured a high waist and wide legs? If you answer bell bottoms, you are correct. What type of hat popular in the 70s had a floppy brim and a rounded crown? The fedora, the newsboy cap, or the floppy hat? It was the floppy hat. What show starring Farrah Fawcett, Kate Jackson, and Jacqueline Smith aired from 76 to 81 and focused on a trio of female crime fighters, Wonder Woman, Charlie's Angels, or The Bionic Woman? It was Charlie's Angels. What boxer known for his signature rope-a-dope technique won the Thrilla in Manila against Joe Frazier in 1975? The correct answer is Muhammad Ali. What U.S. president served from 74 to 77 resigned from office in the face of impending impeachment? Jimmy Carter, Richard Nixon, or Lyndon B. Johnson? It's Richard Nixon. What movement focused on achieving equality for women gained momentum in the 70s? The feminist movement? the labor movement or the civil rights movement? It's the feminist movement. What legislation signed into law in 72 prohibited discrimination on the basis of sex and education, the Civil Rights Act, Title IX, or none of the above? It was Title IX. What political crisis occurred in 1970 when members of the Front de Liberation du Québec 
kidnaps a British diplomat and a Quebec cabinet minister, the October Crisis, the Oka Crisis, or the Mech Lake Accord. It was the October Crisis. What event occurred in 72 resulted in the deaths of 26 miners in Nova Scotia, the Oka Crisis, the Ocean Ranger Disaster, or the West Ray Mine Disaster. It was the West Ray Mine Disaster. What international terrorist group was responsible for the 72 Munich Olympic Massacre in which 11 Israeli athletes were killed? Black September, Red Army Faction, or Al-Qaeda? It was Black September. What Swedish pop group known for hits, Dancing Queen and Waterloo, won the Eurovision Song Contest in 1974? Roxette, ABBA, or Ace of Base? It was ABBA. What disco song by Gloria Gaynor became a feminist anthem and one of the biggest hits of 79? I Will Survive, Boogie Wonderland, or Stayin' Alive? The correct answer is I Will Survive. What video game created in 72 by Atari is widely considered to be the first commercially successful arcade game? Pac-Man, Space Invaders, or Pong? It's Pong. What appliance revolutionized cooking in the 70s with its ability to quickly and easily cook meals in a sealed container? The microwave oven, the slow cooker, or the electric skillet? It's the microwave oven. What hit song by Elton John in 72 was inspired by Marilyn Monroe and features the line, Goodbye Norma Jean. Your song, Crocodile Rock or Candle in the Wind? The correct answer is Candle in the Wind. What controversial 70s film starring Al Pacino focused on the rise of a Cuban immigrant drug lord in Miami? Scarface, The Godfather, or Taxi Driver? It's Scarface. What popular 70s sitcom featured a character named The Fonz who was known for his leather jacket and motorcycle? Happy Days, The Brady Bunch, or All in the Family? The correct answer is Happy Days. What 70s game show hosted by Richard Dawson featured contestants trying to guess the most popular answers to survey questions, Jeopardy, Will of Fortune, or Family Feud? It's Family Feud. What 70s disaster film featured Paul Newman, Steve McQueen, and Faye Dunaway centers around the construction of a skyscraper in San Francisco? Earthquake, Towering Inferno, or The Poseidon Adventure? It's Towering Inferno. What 70s movie directed by Steven Spielberg, starring Richard Dreyfuss and Terry Garr, tells the story of a group of people who witness a UFO sighting, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, E.T., or Starman? It's Close Encounters of the Third Kind. The Exorcist is directed by William Friedkin, and it tells the story of a young girl possessed by a demonic entity. True or false? The correct answer is true. What 70s children's show featuring colorful characters like Big Berg, Oscar the Grouch, and Cookie Monster continues to be beloved by generations of fans? Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, or The Electric Company? It's Sesame Street. What 70s car manufactured and introduced the Pinto, a compact car that became notorious for its tendency to burst into flames and rear-end collisions, Chevrolet, Dodge, or Ford? The answer is Ford. What 70s TV show featured a family that lived in a spooky mansion and included characters Gomez, Morticia, and Uncle Fester? If you answered the Adams family, you are correct.
What George Lucas film from the 70s was a dystopian portrayal of society where all emotions and individuality have been outlawed? American Graffiti, THX 1138, or none of the above? It's THX 1138. True or false? Early rock and roller Chubby Checker had a hit with the song and dance sensation The Twist in the early 70s. It's false. It was the early 60s. What 70s toy introduced by Whammo was a plastic flying disc that became a popular recreational activity in competitive sport? The hula hoop, the frisbee, or silly putty? It's the frisbee. What 70s film directed by John Landis, starring John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd, followed the adventures of two musicians trying to raise money for their old orphanage, the Blues Brothers, Animal House, or Caddyshack? It was the Blues Brothers. What 70s game show hosted by Chuck Barris featured contestants performing outrageous acts and later adapted to a film starring Sam Rockwell and Drew Barrymore? The Gong Show, The Dating Game, or none of the above. It's The Gong Show. What 70s film directed by George Romero featured a group of survivors battling a horde of flesh-eating zombies kick-started the modern zombie movie genre, Land of the Dead, Night of the Living Dead, or Dawn of the Dead? It was Night of the Living Dead. What 70s fashion trend of bell-bottom pants, tie-dye shirts, and platform shoes has become synonymous with the era and remains a popular theme for costume parties? Disco style, punk style, or hippie style? It's hippie style. What 70s musical featured a cast of singers and dancers later adapted into a film starring John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John? Hair, Jesus Christ Superstar, or Grease? It's Grease. What 70s film directed by Woody Allen star Diane Keaton featured a series of vignettes set in New York and became a critical and commercial success? Manhattan, Annie Hall, or Sleeper? It's Annie Hall. What 70s song by the band The Knack featured the famous lyrics My Sharona became a number one hit in the US and UK? I want you to want me, sweet child of mine, or my Sharona. It's my Sharona. What 70s TV show featured a team of detectives investigating crimes in Hawaii, starring Jack Lord and became a popular staple of the police procedural genre? Hawaii Five-O, Magnum P.I., or Starsky and Hutch? It's Hawaii Five-O. What 70s film directed by Brian De Palma, starring Sissy Spacek and John Travolta, followed a high school student with telekinetic powers and became a classic of the horror genre, Halloween, Carrie, or The Exorcist? It's Carrie. What 70s TV show featured a family of robots on a mission to explore the galaxy? Starring actors such as Guy Williams and June Lockhart became a beloved science fiction classic, Lost in Space, The Jetsons, or The Twilight Zone. It's Lost in Space. What cultural movement of the 70s sought to celebrate African-American identity and promote Black pride through fashion, music, and other forms of expression? The Beat Generation, Black Arts Movement, or none of the above? It's the Black Arts Movement. What disco nightclub located in New York City was popular in the 70s and became a significant role in the rise of disco music and culture? Studio 54, The Roxy, The Paradise Garage. It's Studio 54. What event in June 1970 did LGBT activists in New York organize to commemorate the Stonewall Riots? Same-sex marriage, the first gay pride flag, or the first pride parade? It was the first ever Pride Parade. What popular board game first introduced in the 30s saw a surge in popularity in the 70s due to its, to its association with counterculture? Monopoly, Scrabble, or Clue? It's Monopoly. 
Who was the UK Prime Minister in 1975? Let us know the answer in the comments. Thanks for playing this quiz. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.